Hey, what's up guys? Adam Lobo here and you're watching Adam Lobo TV. If you're new to the channel, welcome to my channel. And if you're returning as a subscriber, hey, welcome back. Now, during my Ask Lobo version 2 video, I mentioned I was planning to do a gaming setup feature in the channel. And the next thing I know, I got an email from a very nice guy named Adrian Christopher. And thankfully that he lived in Petaling Jaya here in Malaysia, which is pretty close to where I live. And he wanted me to check out his amazing room. And instead of me hosting, I got him to show us his room tour. So let's check it out. Hey, I'm Adrian Christopher. Welcome to my man cave. So as you walk in, the main attraction of the room is the computer of course. It's always been raising a bunch of eyebrows here and there. But what I do have out of all of this is a home media center system, uh, a gaming computer station, which is this. I, ha I have four monitors as you can see. Uh, one is actually a TV. Uh, these are, mo most of the screens are pretty outdated. Uh, they're all LCD, they're not LED. I, I don't believe in uh, buying new items just yet until they break on you. Uh, but I'm particularly proud of this monitor because it's actually touch screen. So I get to make it work like a tablet when I want to as well. I have a few devices uh, adding on to this workstation. Yeah, okay, so I have my lit up keyboard which I've been using for about eight years right now with no issues. <laughs> I have a, a tablet in here that actually controls the automation of this room. It's just a normal Samsung tablet. I have my Samsung Edge phone, which is which sits on a wireless key charger, so I don't have to worry about cablings. I have my desktop stereo sound system with a woofer at the bottom. It's from Bose. Uh, this is really good quality sound, and especially you're playing movies or you're watching a, playing a game or something and you, you want to hear crystal clarity then yeah these, this, this, this speaker system is pretty cool uh, adding on to that <coughs> I also have uh, the Razer microphone here this is I, I rarely use it that much but actually when I do use it it's for gaming or even I can, you can even, even use it as a USB mic for your computer it doesn't really matter what you want to use it for for professional recording, it is excellent. I have a few friends come over, brought their guitars, we had a jamming session over here. And all I had to do was just place it in the center here, and that's it. It has noise cancellation features and all that good stuff. Uh, this is one of my oldest collection, my first ever PSP that I bought uh, from the US. Uh, brought it back here, tried to get it to work uh, in, the look in Malaysia, but it couldn't uh, run all the downloaded games so I'm still using cartridges actually at the back at the back there on the wall that red item that you see like looking like a spider that's actually my D-Link router for this entire house that's the main brain quite proud of this item as well because I fixed it to the wall uh, I did all the wiring to the entire house there's actually a, a network switch that sits inside my server rack homemade server rack of course uh, I just bought these two racks from Ikea, <coughs> three drawers each. We start from the bottom, yeah. So the bottom unit here uh, consists of power, pl power plugs, extension cords and everything. That, that's why there are no lights there, it doesn't need to be seen. <coughs> the second one here contains the network switch that actually speaks to the router and connected the router in about eight, nine other locations all over the house. So there are LAN ports all over this house as well. And uh, the next rack here is actually my storage. I have about 12 terabytes of storage, which I will probably tell you why later when I use them for. Um, moving on to the next rack above here. Um, <coughs> don't pay much attention to this rack. It's actually just a power source. This is the, the modem router provided for Unify from Telecom, our brothers there. And the top rack here contains some automation for this room and the house. Uh, this is the Hue lights, the base unit for the Hue lights, sorry. And this is my um, Apple Express unit. It basically, what it does in this room, it bounces the signal off and amplifies it so that this entire floor would be uh, Wi-Fi accessible. 
And above this, uh, as you can see, this is a homemade rack. So I don't have the ability, I, I know that this rack will heat up a lot. So I've added this device to monitor the fans which I've manually plugged onto this rack. Two on the top, some on the side, huge one below here on the unifier rack. Because <clears throat> basically all these devices here, they, they, they pull out a lot of heat. So you need a lot of fans to cool them down and this device automatically controls the temperature, the speed of the fans and everything. I don't even have to pay attention to it. If anything goes wrong with the fans, this guy will trigger an alarm. So I'll know exactly which fan is spoiled. And over here, this is the amplifier for the surround sound system in this in this room. I just bought this off uh, a normal sh shop in, uh, in PJ because initially it was actually a Sony home theater system. If you can notice all my speakers on the ceiling, is actually Sony, so it actually was a Sony home theater, but that got spoiled. So I just bought this off, connected all the speakers into this, and this is linked up to the computer, both computers, to the TV, to the PS3 and the PS4. So I can actually enjoy surround sound, and the woofer is hidden right behind the computer. This screen and this screen belongs to this CPU, which I like, which I like to treat it as a server of this house, also the brains of this house in some way. It contains a lot of media from photos to TV shows to movies and I'm talking collections that go way back. So remember I was talking about the storage that I had earlier? That 12 terabyte of storage is actually powering a lot of movies that is spread out to my family members. So this controls all the media. This controls all, this, this is like my work station and my gaming station. So this guy controls this monitor and this TV unit. Back again at this uh, area here, I also have the Amazon Echo Dot, which is used to control a lot of the lights, the fans, the aircon system, the TV unit. Alexa, switch off PC lights. Okay. Alexa, switch on PC lights. Okay. There you go. Uh, she can also do a few other tricks up her sleeve, uh, like switching on the fan, because the fan is actually controlled by a remote. So she speaks to another device that I've hidden among my toys here. It's called the Broadlink RM Pro. And uh, what that does in this entire room and this house is you can, it can transfers all the signals from all your remotes that you have at home into data that it's stored inside its own brain and it speaks to Amazon Echo as though you were holding a remote and pointing it at your devices. Alexa, switch on fan. Okay. So you see you heard that beep. That beep is as good as me taking a remote and pointing it at the fan and powering it on but Alexa gets to do that with me with just one sentence. So uh, in my house we do a lot of printing. My wife uses it, I use it, my sister-in-law uses it but I never could find a printer that would do, a f would have a few capabilities for instance. This has Wi-Fi, this has LAN port capabilities, it has USB which like normal printers do and what's good about it is it also matches with the theme of my room because it's black. <laughs> so uh, besides printing, it does scanning as well. So every time I, I need to scan, I just need to lift the overboard and put in any documents. It's simple to use for a home and it does the job. So that's my wireless printer. And this keyboard controls this PC, which I missed out earlier. I have a GoPro, which I use for my travels or any items that I want to record sometimes. I have a <coughs> Bluetooth speaker system which is actually synced to this Android so anything that bounces up here as a notification is, is transferred to this and amplified in terms of volume. In addition to what I have in this room, like I mentioned earlier in terms of IT tech and whatnot, I have a huge collection of figurines or some of you might call it toys. Uh, but first as you enter is one of my proudest collection here of Joker. This this came as an addition when I bought one of the games related to Batman. As you move on, 
Yeah. My other favorite character, V from Vendetta. I have the man himself, Deadpool. And I'm also a Star Wars fan, so I have Darth Vader over here and some of his giving USB drives down there. And I also have some poster collections of uh, another legend, Bob Marley. A past legend as well, the King of Pop, Michael Jackson. And a few other ornaments on the wall. I used to work in a bar before, so they gave me this as a parting gift of memories that are working in a bar. So yeah. And uh, yeah, and I have a showcase actually. Where some of these toys, not every single thing here is hot toys by the way. Uh, some of them I've actually been collecting over years. But starting from the top, I have a, a small collection of Transformers. Then I have my Marvel and DC collections be between these two bottom trays here. Yeah. And the below rack here is <clears throat> most of my RC devices. Starting from the top here is the DJI Phantom 3. I love flying this guy when I'm doing high definition recording. That's my DJI 2, rest in peace, because a bird hit it. <laughs> and following up, I have few basic cameras that I've collected over these years, and my RC cars. And I actually have a tank down there which uh, with a built-in Wi-Fi camera. Yep, so that covers the showcase, and over on this wall here, I have, uh, for many of you who still remember, Micro Machines. This is my all-time collection. These are stuff that you can't buy anymore. And my one of my favorite collections of movie posters, Back to the Future. And yep. Just small ornaments on the walls and everything else. I have a, a whole collection of um, Marvel posters here. And yes, that would be it. So uh, I would like to thank Adam Lobo TV for featuring this man cave as your first. All right. If you want to know more about the items all over this room, I will leave a link below this video. You can see right below down there. All right, uh, you can access them and, and go through each one. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, we will be happy to answer your questions. Thanks. And welcome, uh, come again to the man cave anytime. Bye. Alright guys, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed my very first episode of the Room Tour and of course enjoyed Adrian's room as well. Speaking of him, a huge thanks goes out to Adrian for letting me check out his amazing room. Now if you guys would like me to feature your room setup in my channel, please email me your setup pictures at adamlobotvroomtour at gmail.com and if chosen, I'll contact you back and we'll visit your place. But of course, this is currently only available for everyone who is in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So let's see how many of you guys are from KL, shall we? And if you guys would like to see more of this kind of video, be sure to let me know at the comment section below. I'm also planning to do another Ask Lobo Part 3 video. So if you guys have any questions, do let me know at the comment section below as well with the hashtag Ask Lobo. And of course, if you can come up with a cool question, I will do a giveaway similar to what I've done before. Now aside from that, thank you guys once again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button to give this video a like. And subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you haven't done so. Don't forget to hit the bell icon just next to it to get notified for my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys next week.